Good morning. Welcome to a towpath walk alongside the River Trent and the Trent and Mersey Canal. And we've just picked up from Sawley Flood Lot number one, and we're going to be taking it towards Aston on Trent and Western on Trent today. Now, currently, the River Trent is actually in flood, and it has been probably for about 10 days now. So it's the it's Tuesday the 8th of October and we've had a lot of rain and you've just seen back there at the gates of the lock like bits of trees and branches and all sorts of um, mess which just goes to show that there's been no boat traffic down here whatsoever in around about Wally must be about a week and a half but we've got a break in the weather it's lovely and sunny. It's a little bit windy, so I apologise if there's any of that in the film and the sound. So next up is the M1 motorway. And we're going to go past uh, the weir on the right-hand side, which also takes the Trent down and around Sawley Marina. Um, I just crossed that on the bridge, and it must have been that far away from bursting its banks. So I'll see you a bit further down. Now, it must be 20, 22 years since I've uh, been down this section. Uh, I used to do it regularly on the bike and go probably as far as almost Willington used to go that uh, and back from Attenborough. Um, now, there's another weir coming up. And when I was a teenager, there used to be this bridge going over it from this side over to the other side and get you back towards the Trenton Mersey Canal. Um, boy, was that rickety. It was like something out of Indiana Jones. And I think around about 2000, it was condemned. You couldn't get across. Soon afterwards, it was um, taken down. And I was never sure. I think it was a long, long period where there was no bridge whatsoever, which was disappointing for me because I never got the opportunity to um, come back here. And um, I believe there is actually a bridge there now. And I'm not sure how long it's been there, but hopefully we can uh, get across, or well, this is going to be a very, very short video. So it was at this point where the path used to go, and now it's um, completely bushed off. So I think I can see this new bridge coming up just down here. And before we actually get to the bridge, I'm not sure if you can see the current of the water, but that is moving so fast and it's so swirly. Just over there, that's the start of the Trenton Mersey Canal.
Oh dear. Right, looks like we've encountered a problem. Right, let's see. Okay, so I've crossed back over the the new bridge, at least I've got to have a go on it. Um, just spoke to another gentleman, uh, he's got wellies on, and you needed them. Gonna, so the bridge is there, and we're going to take this path, which follows the course of the trend, and it's probably going to add about 15 minutes on, but we will end up coming towards a place called Cavendish Bridge, which will then cross the trends again, and then shortly after, meet up with the trend to Mersey Canal. Not again. Uh, possibly there. Hmm. I probably could have made that 20 years ago, but not. Uh, I'll have to have a think about this. So I've just uh, crossed over Cavendish Bridge. Now this dates back to 1957 and very shortly we should finally back and on the Trent and Mersey Canal. Okay, so what I've done, I've backtracked. So back that way, just around there a short way, is um, where it was blocked off with the water. So I've come off the road where I crossed Cavendish Bridge and I backtracked about half a mile. Now at bridge number two and Wheel Lane. Now I've come back because it'd be a shame to miss out on walking through Shardlow because it has some beautiful buildings and it's a beautiful little stretch. So let's have a look through Shardlow. Shardlow and Shardlow lot number two back there um, rather a picturesque little section of this canal it's getting very very windy now and the temperature's dropping so another point 
to note along here is uh, we've got the River Trent next to us and we've also got the railway line from Trent Junction through towards Willington uh, Stanton Junction. Now along that line there was also Castle Donington Power Station. Now this started being built back in 1951 and opened a good few years later in 1958. Gradually it was decommissioned from 1993 until the power station itself closed in 1994. Also of note at Castle Donington is that of course we've got the Donington racetrack and also East Midlands Airport. So that's bridge number 3A, it's only built in 1977 and I believe it's just used as farm access. So up ahead is the A50, that's the Derby Southern Bypass. So if we're going to take it in that direction, we'll be heading off towards the A38, uh, Willington, Burton upon Trent. And a short distance in that direction, we'd be passing East Midlands Airport and heading off to join the M1 motorway. So that's bridge number four, also built in 1997. So I'm currently stood under the A50 and there appears to be above what sounds like a loose panel cover or a drain if you haven't listened. This is from Laurie going over. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, it looks like we're going to be leaving those glorious blue skies behind. So just a note, the first pair of lock gates on Aston Lock number three, they were built as recently and installed as recently as um, the winter just gone. So they're like almost brand spanking new, so should be doing a really good duty for a long time. So yeah, anyway, the blue skies are now turning into grey and possibly wet.
Right, so thankfully that was a very, very brief shower, two, three, four minutes long. So over there, we've got the village of Aston on Trent. Got another bridge coming up. I think this will be number seven. And then Western on Trent will be the next port of call. I mean, it is absolutely lovely along here. I've often said for a few years, I'd love to um, bring a boat along here or, you know, have a journey on a narrow boat. Let's say it was about 1997, 98, the last time I cycled down here. And back then, not long after leaving school, you don't really appreciate it so much. You enjoy what you're doing at the time, but you don't really take it in. So it's so nice to come back down here. And this, of course, is just the start of a walking towpath journey along the entire Trent and Mersey Canal. So just coming up to Bridge 7, we're very, very close to the railway line now. You can just hear... Don't know if you could hear that. There's a freight working going past, heading in the direction of the uh, Trent Lock and Trent Junction. Okay, that's bridge 7a and that is the railway line between stenson junction which is where willington is and it joins onto the birmingham to derby line and back in the other direction over there it'll take us back to long eaton Look at the size of that lawn. There's a house up there and then you've got the little bench just there at the end of it all. I think if I owned that, I'd be um, inclined to install one of those little miniature railways so I could um, sit on it and ride down to the bench every time I wanted to sit down there. And then ride back whenever I'd finished. I think I'm about to hit a heck of a lot more rain. Looks very misty in the distance and I'm starting to get wet. So the rain keeps coming down then it keeps easy enough to like a fine misty drizzle and then it stops altogether then it comes back again so it's a bit like commercial breaks on a tv program which i absolutely love not far from western on trent the river trent is just over that hedge so we've caught back up with that again alongside us and the railway itself has disappeared over there so we're almost at journey's end for today so let's just get a little bit more footage of the last little section we're walking down. So I'm taking a little bit of shelter underneath this very, very quaint and narrow footbridge. Absolutely chucking it down right now. 
Well, it looks like I'm just going to have to wait it. Ah, it looks like it's getting brighter over there. It's still beautiful though. Okay, I think we're good to go for now. I can see it's very dull to the south of me, so that's the left of the towpath. But in front there's bits of blue sky poking through, so let's plod along a little bit more and try and get to our destination before it starts again. Now then, this up here is the old railway line between Derby and Ashby de la Zouge. And it opened around about 1864, I think it was, and closed relatively recently uh, from, it was 1980, yeah, that was it. And it's now been converted into a cycle trail. Well, part of it has anyway. So we're gonna go up there and have a look. And there's supposedly a nice little viaduct that crosses the River of Trent. And considering that it's um, in flood currently, it should make quite a magnificent sight to see. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, I'd have loved to have been able to get the drone up and show you some footage of uh, what it actually looks like from the side and above, but I've got jet planes going over me. I'm not going to mess about and end up, <laughs> you know. It only takes one little incident and it's just not worth the risk. So yeah, we're leaving the River Trent in flood. So as you can see on the opposite side, it has actually burst the banks. And there's a field over there with probably about a couple of thousand seagulls in it, so they probably think uh, they're at the seaside. Just behind that pile on there, we've got Willington Power Station. So we've visited there before, haven't we? So, I'm going to take a little wonder up here now. Because I've been tipped off that there's some hidden relics on this railway line. And I'm going to go and take a look at it. So... If you enjoyed this walk along the canal thank you very much for watching and uh, give it a thumbs up or subscribe for more we'll be continuing on the journey along the trent and mersey so the next section is going to be from this point here right the way through to willington but now i'm going to head off in search of these little relics that i've just told you about i'm going to cross over the canal so if you'd like to see and come with me and have a look i'll see you next time Bye bye